Well, that was unexpected. Oh yeah, that was a great dive. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Lots of corals, nice bottom contour. A cave? A cave too. The oh, walls, <laughs> I mean the soft yeah. corals, the fish. Probably my favorite wide angle dive site, potentially in all of any Oh, I'd rank it up right up there. Top five too. for sure. Top, Top five. five. And when we got up, we were pretty damn excited. Oh yeah. Because oh, yeah. we were like, <laughs> Jackpot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, talk about the yeah, ultimate yeah. home run. I've never heard of it. You've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. And we didn't put it in the book. No. And it's a bit too far out. For all us. the all the guides, like no one ever goes, no one's been here. Yeah. yeah. The boat guys, no one ever goes here. Right. Our boat crew didn't know about it. No. Yeah. But there's one problem. <laughs> it's on the map. And it is called Let's make sure. Grotto. <laughs> okay. So, we, I don't know, did we rediscover a I dive site? I think, yeah, that's, that's it. It's been there, people probably dove it, not too often, but we're definitely not the first ones to go there. No, we're I not I wish we could say that. I know, but I wish we could say that. we're not the first. How did we end up in this embarrassing situation? Well, let's take a step back and start at the beginning. In 2018, Ram Yoro and I wrote the Let's Go Dive Guide to Aniwao. And over the course of writing that book, we had to create maps. Well, as it turns out, while making these maps, we think we discovered what might be an exciting new dive site just west of Sombrero Island. But obviously, as you just saw, it didn't turn out like we thought. So let's start right back at the beginning where it all began, in Parñaque, where we went to Dive Pro Asia to start our expedition to find the mystery pinnacle. First, we need the gears. Oh, yeah. Uh, we need PCDs, regs, basically everything because. Okay, we will be happy to provide you with that. What we have here now is for your BCDs to dive right. Okay, this one is a super fabric. For the regulator, we also have one from dive right. This is our advanced open water setup. Nice. Any chance you have a computer? Oh, of course. What we carry here is from Sheer Water Research. We would love to. Um, let you try this one. This is a Predict AI where you could use the transmitter on it as well. What we have for the 4K, we have prepared 4K camera for you guys. This is from Paralens. This is a nice bag. It is. It's Two from uh, Fort and, uh, Element. Yeah. Yeah. Two gears, you have a Paralens, you have a couple of torches. You have everything yeah. there. Basically everything. So I guess we're ready now? Sure. All right. Good luck for the ship and you guys have fun. <laughs> we need that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Our home for the shoot is the amazing Casa Bahia Resort, located right on the tip of the peninsula. This is the heart of Anilao dive country, with all the classic dive sites located just minutes from the beach. It will serve us well because it also is as close as we can possibly get to where we think the location of the mystery pinnacle is. One of the best ways to find new dive sites, or shipwrecks, is to talk to local fishermen. The fishermen around Anilao have spent hundreds and thousands of hours out on these waters, and they know the hidden places where fish like to congregate. And if fish are congregating, that means there might be a dive site. It turns out Ram had the perfect guy to go to. So upon arrival at Casa Bahia that evening, we went straight down and sat by the pool to meet with our local fishermen. Ako si Mr. Virgilio Abregonda. Dito na ako lumaki sa barangay Bagalangis. Since na maliit pa kami, hmm. uh, 
yung father ko, uh, farmer, saka fisherman. Yan yung kinagis nga namin. Kaya yung mga kawilan dyan ng mga uh, bar, alois, kabisado ko na rin na. Tsaka yung yaman ng dagat dito. Yung yaman ng dagat dito. Ang um, ilang taong ko nag-umpisa mga uh, uh, mawin. Since 12 years old, Baba. yan na lang yung uh, ano na... Oh. Ako lang namin yung oh. tinuro kasi mm. dito bukod ito wala namang ibang ano sa amin kundi oh. sa akin mga isda oh. kasi malayo pa ngayon medyo nagbago na yung oh. panahon habang umaano oh. naging moderno na yung lugar oh. hanggang sa dumating yung mga diving oh. na yan nagpisa rin sa mga oh. paisa-isang resort mm. hanggang ngayon dikit-dikit na yung mga ano yan, mga dadsyat dito mm. okay. May paborito ka dito na pangawilan? Dito, dito sa lugar na to sa pagitan ng tingloy oh. sa sombrero oh. na ito. May shallow water dito. Oh. North ng tingloy. So, oh. malamang yun yun ngayon yung Bahura dive site. Doon kayo sa Bahura mismo sa dulo pa? So, sa dulo pa kasi hindi ah. naman siya mapuntahan oh. yun ng mga yeah. members. Oh. Yung tinuturo mo, halos sa harap yun ng ano, sombrero. Oh, Lagpas na sa alam natin na Lagi Bahura, Bahura dive site. Oh. Kabisadong kabisado mo talaga yung ano, no, area. Uh, pwede kami mag-request tayo. Ano bang pwede, pwede kong gawin yung pabor sa iyo? Pwede kami magpasama sa iyo. Puro mo yung mga pinupuntahan mo, pusilipin oh. namin. Bukas? Pwede ka bukas? Oo, oh, pwede. pwede. Uh, Agahan natin para may Agahan pumaganda na, yung pero, panahon. Sa ano? mga alaas 7. Oo, oh, mga alaas. Sige, kita tayo bukas. Oo, oh, sige, sige. Give you. Alamat, kita. Everything looked good and we were excited for the next day. But Mother Nature had other plans for us. Typhoon kicked off to our southwest and that started the Habagat season early. That played hell with our diving. With our dive plans in tatters, we decided to spend a day planning instead. So we brought down Vio and we looked over the maps. We spent several hours picking his brain about dive sites around Anilau and what he knew. We also wanted to get his opinion on what he thought about our mystery dive site. Ito sa, sa dulo nitong so, uh, layag-layag rip. Oo, oh, layag-layag. Tapos may bahura na rip. Tapos yung dulo pa na. Meron pa, pero wala masyado pumupunta dyan. Wala, wala masyado pumupunta Kasi pumupunta malayo eh. Malayo. Pag galing ka, di ba lahat lahat tayo masya, pumapasok lagi? Yes sir. Oh, yung single tank natin, hanggang bahura kanto lang. Yes sir. Oh, laban pa yan kasi pag malalim tayo, uh, malakas, malakas pa sa akin. Malakas ang... So yung malayo na part ng bahura, mm -hmm. halos sa harap ng sombrero, hindi masyado natin napupuntahan. Hindi na, kasi malay okay. palagang malakas yung current oh. dito sir eh. Ah, okay. Isa, is, isa din yan. Oh. So, we could only look at the maps for so long. Eventually, we needed to get down on the water and see what the conditions were really like. Sinek ko pa lang yung tide chart, bukas, medyo malakas yung agos, pero may window tayo between kitna ng mga 10.30 to 12.30, may panahon na pwede kumaba. The first day of our search had been frustrating. We'd been unable to get out in the water, and had had to spend our time planning indoors. That evening, the weather began to clear, and we were optimistic that tomorrow we would finally be able to hit the water. The next morning we wake up and we're nervous as we head out our doors. So before we head down to breakfast, we go make a quick check of the conditions. And things look good. The water is calming down, the clouds are clearing out, and it looks like today finally will be the day we get to go search for the mystery pinnacle. Following breakfast, it's time to pack up our gear and head down to the camera room at Casa Bahia. Walking down towards the shore, we're delighted to see the sun has come out. It's gonna be a nice, warm, and hot day out on the water, and we couldn't be happier. We have to load and mine at this time of year because the rough waves prevent us from loading in front of Casa Bahia. No problem, that's why we call it jeepney diving. With Vio on board, he directs the boat driver towards his fishing spot. This is a place he knows well where there's a concentration of fish. Spirits are high and everyone's in a good mood as things finally seem to be going our way. As we finally near the site, we check in with some local fishermen on the scene to see how the catch is going. It seems we've come to the right place, so we keep heading off and look for our shallow water. But we have a problem. 
the current is running extremely fast. Our timing is correct, it is still slack tide, but the water is moving way too fast to dive. Additionally, we're concerned that this looks like it's more of an extension of the existing Bahura dive site. And that's not really what we're after. So between the current and our concerns about the site, we decide it's better to maybe head off and look for something else. This is where all that extra time we had due to the weather pays off. Having spent all those hours with Vio talking about other potential dive sites, we know there's more out here that has not been discovered. During his time fishing in these waters, Vio has found a number of sites just off the north shore of Maracaiban Island. With Vio to guide us right to the spot, it's time to hop in the water and see what's down there. At first it looks promising, but then Ram notices that the site is really just a long, gradual slope that has no real bottom contour. To maximize our search area, Ram stays in the water and goes along the side of the boat while holding on to the rope. As we slowly trawl along the north shore of Maricaban Island, all we see is a flat bottom and the only reefs that we see have been dynamited. This does not look good. Vio has a number of spots for us to check out. One in particular he knows comes close to the surface and may be some type of pinnacle. And he's right, there is a shallow area. But even from the boat, we can tell that this is not going to be much of a sight. The area has been heavily damaged due to dynamite fishing. In frustration, we press on and decide to go ask local fishermen in the area what they know. They have an idea of a site further down the shore that might work out for us. Our excitement builds as we head down the shore because we can see a lot of fish action on the surface. This is a really good sign and we're really excited to check out this site. It seems the fishermen were right. This is a very promising area. So finally, we get our gear ready, get the cameras ready, and prepare to jump in. We're a long way from the traditional Anilao dive sites, and we can't wait to find what's under the water here. get out of the water at the end of the dive, and I'm absolutely blown away with what I've seen. After just one dive, I've exceeded all my expectations about what I hope to find in our search for the missing pinnacle. Although it may have not been the pinnacle we were looking for, this may be even better. Then, when Ram and get back boat, and they're telling me stories about caves and walls, I gotta get back in and do this again. Because honestly, I never made it past the shallow reef. It was just that amazing. And one hour later, we're gearing up, heading back in the water, and time to do it all over again. second dive, it's even better than the first. Back on the boat, we're thrilled. 
And as we head back to Casa Bahia, Ram notices something. There might be another mystery pinnacle located just off the village of Guamau. So we figure, hey, maybe tomorrow we'll come back and check it out. But after what we found today, who really needs another dive site? I mean, caves, walls, tons of fish, tons of colors. This is what we came here for, and this is really any loud diving at its finest. Our biggest decision to make is, should we just go back to where we just were and do two more dives there tomorrow? Or should we check out the mystery site? And honestly, we're leaning to go back and check out that cave and see what else we can find where we were today. Back at Casa Bahia, we get ready for dinner. But first off, we need to go clean up our cameras. And that's when reality hits us right in the face. But there's one problem. <laughs> it's on the map. And it is called... Let's make sure. Grotto. Okay. That's right. Turns out our new dive site wasn't so new after all. So once again, we go back to our ace in the hole, Vio, and see what he's got to say. Theo's disappointed, but he wants to check out that site we saw on the way back. theo has got an old friend who fishes that area all the time, and he's going to ask him if he can come help us out. Hopefully he can, because tomorrow will be our last day to search for the new dive site. Otherwise, it's time to move on to something else. So as the sun sets and we head to bed, we're hopeful that tomorrow will bring better luck. It's been an incredible day, but you know what? This isn't what we came here for. As amazing as the grotto was, it's already an established site, and we're looking for something new because we want to show that Annie Lau still has a whole lot left to discover. Well, this is it. Our last day to find a new dive site. Yesterday had been a big disappointment, and hopefully today would go better. The grotto was an amazing site, but we are really looking for something new. And our last chance is this place that's on the north shore of Maricavan Island. Out here in this strait, we saw again what might be a mystery pinnacle on the map. So, we had to check it out. Theo's friend, who knows the area well, meets us at the beach. It's another day of jeepney diving, and we load up and prepare to head out. Out here, we use a plumb line to test the depths. Good old-fashioned bottom finder. After several hits and misses, we find a spot. We're way offshore, but the water here is really shallow, and it really shouldn't be. So I hop in and drag alongside of the boat to have a look. This far offshore, the water should be several hundred meters deep. But then, I see something. So I climb back on the boat, give everyone the good news, and we get ready. Coming in here, we've got dolphins, tuna, tuna, tuna. right here. Um, too bad we were too slow to get the camera out. Dolphins? Tuna, shallow water hundreds of meters offshore, looks like a hell of a sight. So on our way down, we are really, really excited because we may have found something. But on the bottom, hmm, not so much. We got us excited when you said, ah, I'm seeing something. There's something down here and there was. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. Uh, I mean, it was what? Very, very scattered rocks. Mm. Mm. You know, some reef stuff. Right. Not right. Yeah. Nothing amazing. Yeah. It was a very slow, gradual slope. Yeah. And finally, so I figured, hey, mm. let's find the drop mm. between here and the shore. Mm. 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 But there wasn't one. It wasn't. We made it all, all the, the way, way to the down. beach. Yeah. I think the the ma map is actually partially accurate in the sense that there's something out there, right? really far, but it's not a pinnacle, it's a um, peninsula, protruding part of the land that slowly, gradually slopes down. Right. I kind of feel like we missed it. Mm. You know, we, we dropped, and the current was moving, we dropped over there mm. and were pushed that mm. way pretty quickly. Yeah. That, there's something causing the There's ripple. something causing that ripple, and we missed it because we were too far this way. Yeah. But we did prove on that dive, if yeah. nothing else, mm -hmm. we have proved that the charts are, are completely off. wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no pinnacle. This is not a steep drop off. This is pretty shallow way out. So, so I think this time we shoot on the other side of that mm. and just drift all the way back down right. and see what, right. if there's sure. anything there. Ram's the first one down and I'm right behind him. Who knows what we'll find, but this is it. So 
up with something right there. Totally out of nowhere, and then something, boom. Nice patches of corals, sensory overload, lots of colors, tiny fish swimming on top of it. And I think I saw some macro too. And then lots of these like hydroids, the weedy stuff. Those, the kind that, you know, Arenopias would normally stay on. I think there's good potential here, man. You should like come back and look some more. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> I think we, yeah. That we was a dive something. site. Yeah. That yeah. was a dive site. For sure, for sure. <laughs> so it's this like thumb sticking, sticking up out. that's catching yeah. all the currents Current. as they go by. Right. Macro. We saw macro. Wide angle. Wide angle. Especially um, close focus wide angle. Plenty of nudies. Variety of nudies. Um, you had everything from the the anemone fish mm -hmm. to the anthias. Right. Lots of anthias the on the rock. The fusiliers right. on the rock. Like I saw porcelain crabs mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. um, eels on that. Mm -hmm. And I would call it a a very nice patch reef. Yeah, that's um, the best way to describe it. It's a patch reef. We didn't find a pinnacle. We found a patch reef. We found something. That is a. It's a good, it was a good sight. Like I don't. The first dive here, when we were back down there. Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, but this one. This one. I didn't feel like I was wasting my time. Yeah, I would dive that again. Yeah. Um, you could, I'd say it would be a really good uh, second, yeah. second dive. Yeah. Maybe so, do like a, a grotto, yeah. and then here. Right. That's a good dive. Right. That's a good two dives. Exactly. So you have one more in this area. Time to update the book. Yeah. <laughs> well, so. Yeah, we, we do the book. This is a brand new site never heard of. We missed the grotto, which is probably one of my top five annual sites that I'd never heard of. Also, not in the not book. In the book. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Uh, second edition. What are we going to call this? What's the name of the village here? It's Gamal. It's Gamal Village. And how do you describe the reef? Patch Reef. Patch. Gamal Patch Gamal Reef. Patch reef. <laughs> All right, so if you're watching this, we officially christened this Gamal Patch Gamal Reef. Patch Reef. So, we found it. That was good. That was good. In the end, it's been a fun couple of days. We didn't find what we set out to, but you know what? We found something pretty cool anyway. We rediscovered the grotto. We found the Gamal Patch Reef. And had a lot of fun doing it. We need to give a big thanks to our sponsors. Dive Pro Asia. Casa Bahia, Shearwater, and Dive Right. Thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully see you on the next episode.